Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you everything that me and my two littlest ones eat throughout the day. I was gonna do everyone, but it's just a lot, especially since there's so many different people. Yeah, so of course, everything's gonna be super easy to recreate. Nothing's like, nothing takes like forever to make, I promise. So I like cooking. I just don't like spending too much time in the kitchen. I just get really bored quickly and I'm just like, can I do something else now? <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this one and let's go ahead and get into it. So for Embers and Ezra's breakfast today, I actually got inspired from Starbucks. They have like this delicious box that is basically what I'm going to be showing you guys. So first, I just cut up some of the boiled eggs that we had in the fridge. We like to like boil a lot of them at a time and peel them and, and then just store those in the fridge for the week. So I just put those on the side and then I added some berries. And I'm also toasting up a slice of bread for them. And then I'm adding some of this Justin's peanut butter. And this is the exact same peanut butter that you would get from Starbucks like that box and it's so good if you haven't tried it. it has like a little bit of honey in it and it just tastes so delicious by far our favorite peanut butter so far and then on the side I just sliced up some queso fresco we had some like cheese chilling in the fridge so I just like basically recreated the Starbucks box for them So it's literally the simplest thing, but they love this, you guys. Like they eat everything that I give them, which is always the best. So I totally forgot to show you guys what they had for snacks, but I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my snack drawer, like their snack drawer, and show you guys what I typically give them. So Ember loves these crunchy rollers. They're basically like a healthy Rice Krispie treat. And then Ezra really likes these apple crisp. I get them from Costco in like a big bag, and they're like, they literally taste like apples. They're so good, kind of like applesauce, because they do have a little bit of a hint of cinnamon. And if they don't have dry snacks, I usually just always have like fresh fruit in the house so a banana apple peach whatever is typically in season so most of you guys know i do intermittent fast so i'm typically trying to reach for something like quick just to get something inside of me so i'm going to be making myself my favorite chocolate smoothie like breakfast smoothie in the morning um this is not all i'm gonna have this is just like to get something in me real quick so that way i can start making myself something else like real food <laughs> So I'll go ahead and throw up a picture of all of the ingredients I used and measurements, but this is just a delicious like chocolate milkshake smoothie. Mm. Tastes like a milkshake. So while I drink this, I usually like to go ahead and make myself like something real. So right now I'm just putting some olive oil on the pan with some white onion, some red bell pepper, and then I just went ahead and put in like three, two eggs. I forgot how much I put. <laughs> and then just a handful of spinach. And then with some fresh berries. I love berries. I love blackberries and blueberries and all types of berries. Um, and then I have some queso fresco. I just put that on top. With some Tabasco and it was delish. All right, so I'm actually really excited to show you guys how I make this soup for Ember. It's so easy to make and she loves it. It's also perfect for little babies and toddlers. So yeah, the first thing I do is put oil on my pan on a medium-ish heat. And then I just added four cloves of garlic and a roughly chopped half of an onion. So you definitely don't have to worry about cutting it like super finely because we're gonna go ahead and put it in the blender. I 
went ahead and added some more olive oil to my pan and then I put in one fourth cup of these little star pastas and I just like quickly like fried them up just like a little bit you guys you don't want to have to do this too much it's just to add a little bit of flavor so I only used one fourth cup of pasta because these little things grow it definitely might seem like it's like not enough but once like it boils and it settles like you'll have like this amount and I feel like this is like the perfect amount after that I went ahead and blend it all together and then added it back to the pasta and I put that on a medium-ish high heat so it could boil so now I'm just chopping up a handful of spinach I added that to the soup let it boil and it is pretty much finished now and it looks like this it tastes so good you guys I actually just had a couple bites of embers and it's literally so yummy and I don't know what Ezra doesn't like so of course I offered it to him but he just I think it's the color he just does not like it he's just like so put off about the soup but Ember's in love so since I already knew he wasn't gonna want that I went ahead and made him a grilled cheese sandwich on the side So I'm about to put you guys on the most delicious chicken wrap burrito. It is so easy to make and it's such a lazy, yummy dinner. But you could use rotisserie chicken or the bear chicken nuggets from Costco. I actually prefer the bear chicken nuggets from Costco because they are so crispy and so good. But we actually ran out and I just was not in the mood to go to Costco. So I went to the grocery store and picked up a rotisserie chicken. It takes a little bit more work because you have to shred everything. <laughs> So I'm first going to start off with this one avocado. I'm going to go ahead and mash it and put it in this bowl. Now I'm just adding the rotisserie chicken and then the star ingredient is this buffalo sauce. It's so freaking delicious. A tablespoon of mayonnaise. And then I just went ahead and added a handful of Kobe Jack shredded cheese on top. With the lettuce, I mix it all together. And that is basically everything that is gonna go inside of the wrap burritos. After that, I sprayed the pan so I can grill it on both sides and it just makes it so crispy and so good. And it is delicious, it's really good with the rotisserie chicken, but it's even better with the bear nuggets from Costco. And since my kids don't really like the buffalo sauce, I just put like the chicken on the side for them and I went ahead and made them everything exactly the same except for the lettuce and the buffalo sauce. So they had theirs pretty boring, but um, yeah, Ember just had little pieces of the chicken, but she got really full from the soup and she didn't really want to eat after that. So surprisingly, I didn't have dessert this day, which is so weird because I have the biggest sweet tooth. But I ended up filming myself making these pumpkin cookies. And of course, I had to throw this in because what is like my what I eat in day videos without dessert? Yeah, but we make these pumpkin cookies every year and they are so good. I actually changed it up this time and I swapped out the sugars for alternative sugars and I also used oat flour instead of the regular flour so I try to make it a little bit more healthier. It tasted a little bit different but nothing like major. It still tasted really good.
yeah, but of course I'm gonna go ahead and leave like the ingredients and all the details and how to make my like yearly pumpkin caramel cookies in the description box down below, but I'll also throw like a picture of it right here so you don't have to go to the description box. But if you want a little bit more detail, go ahead and check out the description box. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also subscribe if you're brand new. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.